Well, hello there. Happy Thursday. I hope you had a wonderful Wednesday and are ready for our last day this week of our academic group and our lessons for this week. So because on what nope Tuesday we finished our comparing within five lesson we're starting a new lesson today and it is about counting and writing to ten so we've been focusing on five and now we're gonna move on and work on ten numbers up to ten so let's start here I'm gonna get my marker ready and it says to count so let's count the dots. I see one, two, three, four. I knew that because I counted the circles. Now let's try the purple dice. I see one, two, three, four, five. There are five dots on the purple. Let's try the red. One, two, three, four, five. There are also five dots on the red dice, the same as the purple, they are equal. Let's try the yellow. One, two, three, four. There are four dots on the yellow dice. And notice, how when I was counting the circles, I drew a little green circle inside of them, just so I knew that I counted those dots already. So five and five are the same, and the four, the blue and the yellow show the same. Let's try this. Here's another activity where we are going to count. So let's count. I see one, two, three. And on this side I see another three. So let's put three in our brains and count on. So we have three, four, five, six. There are six dark green dots. Let's try this one. I notice that there are three dots here and three right here, which means we need to add this one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, just like this dice over here, plus one more is seven. I notice on this dice we also have our three here and our three on the other end, and we have two extra. So if three on either side, like this one, makes six, that means we have six and we'll two plus two more, seven, eight. Notice the pattern. We have six, seven, eight. On this dice, I see three here and three here and three extra in the middle. So we need to add six, seven, eight, nine. So, because we're learning about numbers up to 10, here's some examples. So, we have the number 8 in the middle. Here are different ways to show the number 8. On here, we have fingers. I see 5 here. Ooh, let's get a different marker so we can see that 5. I see 5 here and 3 here. And when we add them, Five and three make eight. On here, I see one, two, three, four, five, and three more. That equals eight. So we have five and three. Let's try this one. I see one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight circles. So we also have eight here. And here is how we spell the word eight. So this is also showing eight because it's the word. 
or how we spell eight. Here's our last problem for today. So for this one, I want to see, I noticed that we here we have a 10 frame. So before, you may have only seen this with one side because there are two rows of one, two, three, four, five boxes. There are five boxes on each side, which means that this is called a 10 frame because when we add five and five, it makes 10. So I want us to focus on making 10. So if we take these circles and put them in the 10 frame, I notice that I have five in the 10 frame and how many left over? One, two, three, four, five. So now we know that five and five make 10. So we know five plus five makes 10. Let's try another way. Let's take some out. I have three in my 10 frame. And how many in the circle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means three and seven make 10. Let's try one last way to make 10. How many circles do I have in the 10 frame? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we have nine. And how many are in the circle? One. Nine plus one also makes 10. So this activity shows us all the different ways we can show 10. And that is the end of our slideshow for today. So now it's your turn to practice what we've learned. So on your activity, instead of showing me different ways to make 10, your activity, you're going to put eight counters in the 10 frame. And then I want you to move those counters over to the circle and show me how you counted them. How do you know that there are still eight counters there? You can also continue this with using other numbers other than eight. So you could use 10, you could use two, six, any numbers up to 10. All right, if you have any questions, I am always here to help. I hope you have a great weekend and I miss you very much. Now, just a reminder for your parents, this was the last week for material, so that means I have new material for you to pick up on Monday. You can pick it up anytime on, on, on Monday. I will have the lessons ready to go for you when we're ready. So we're picking up new material on Monday and I'll send out a reminder email as well. All right, remember if you have questions, I'm always here to help and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.